Today I'm going to be cooking a healthy, low-carb, keto-friendly dish. Cauliflower fried rice is something that I love to make when I'm craving takeout. It's super simple. Your whole family is going to love it. It comes together in just a few minutes. And perhaps the best part about the whole thing is that you can clean out your refrigerator using any extra vegetables that you have laying around. So let's get started. Many markets sell cauliflower in the rice form. However, if you do not have access to rice cauliflower in the market or you just want to do it yourself, you can start out by washing and drying a cauliflower thoroughly and using the large coarse grater of a box grater and grating the cauliflower. If you have a food processor which has the grater attachment, you could also do it this way by just breaking the cauliflower down into smaller size pieces and feeding it through the food processor. This will save you tons of time doing it this way. Once you have your riced cauliflower, we're gonna go ahead and start chopping all of our veggies that we're gonna be using. Again, you could use whatever veggies you have. I happen to have some zucchini in my crisper, which was wanting to be used up. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop the zucchini into smaller size pieces. And we're gonna do a small dice on the zucchini. We're gonna also use some broccoli. So I'm just gonna break it down into smaller bite-sized pieces. You can also use the stems of the broccoli. Don't throw those away. Those are also delicious in cauliflower fried rice. Also have some green beans which are dying to be used up, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the stems off of the green beans and chop those as well. I have one ear of corn. I have the yellow corn here. Just gonna go ahead and remove all the kernels of the corn into a bowl. I also have some shiitake mushrooms, which are sort of a medium-sized shiitake mushroom, which I wanted to get rid of. I'm gonna go ahead and chop those as well. I had large carrot, which I'm gonna break down also into a small dice. I have some little baby sweet peppers that I also wanted to use up. I had just a few left over from the week, which I've been putting in my salads. So I'm gonna also chop those into a small dice. You could also add some onions. I just had a couple extra spring onions that I wanted to use. We're also gonna be using some fresh ginger, which needs to be peeled and chopped small. I love ginger, so I tend to use a lot of ginger cooking. It's especially delicious in this fried rice. This is the way I like to peel garlic, which some may find scary, but I usually slam my knife against the garlic to easily peel. And then I'm going to go ahead and just chop all this garlic. Also, same size as the ginger, you want it pretty small. You don't want big chunks of garlic in your fried rice. I also like garlic, so I use a lot. If you're lucky enough to own a wok, now is the time to break it out. If you don't own a wok, don't worry, you can still make cauliflower fried rice. I'm just going to use this beat up old skillet that I have. I'm going to start by adding our shiitake mushrooms and onions our fresh corn, our green beans, and broccoli, and our edamames. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, the carrots, peppers, and we're just gonna stir fry all these veggies together. I like to add some fresh black pepper. I'm gonna add some ginger, our sesame oil. You wanna get a little bit of color on the veggies, but you don't want them to be soft, so don't cook them too long. We're gonna add in our cauliflower rice. We're just adding half of everything right now. I'm gonna do two batches since our skillet is not very big. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the ginger. We're gonna beat up our eggs and add half of the eggs in the center. Adding a little bit of extra oil and mixing. Basically making scrambled eggs and then we're gonna mix this into our fried rice. We're gonna go ahead and mix it in, add some sesame seeds and our soy sauce. Stir it up. I tasted it and it needs a little bit more sesame oil. You can taste it and adjust the seasoning as you'd like. Make sure everything's well incorporated. And that's it. 
We're gonna put this into a bowl, clean out our skillet, and make our second batch. And there you have it. Not only is this dish extremely healthy, it's also visually so beautiful with all the different colors and textures going on. I'm going to just finish it off with some black sesame seeds and white sesame seeds. And sure, some green scallions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and subscribe for more recipes and cooking tips.